There is one concept in football that has been taught since the beginning of time. It is the single play that encapsulates everything that makes football the game it is. With power, you run it straight downhill. You know where we coming, and we know where y'all gonna be lined up at. Now you just gotta stop it. I'm saying I'm better than you. Often referred to as God's play, and it is the backbone to the run game in football and the ultimate tone setter for an offense to make the defense aware that they are in for a long day of downhill physical football. The key principles of a power run game is double team blocks at the point of attack, pulling guards to give you a number advantage in the run game, and a kick out block on the end man on the line of scrimmage to give you alleys for your running back to explode through. This type of downhill running approach is also going to set up great downfield play action shots when the defense starts to come down aggressively to stop the run. So the plays we will be breaking down today are Ravens Power and HB Dive out of Pistol Strong Eye Wing. And also we'll be going over HB Toss, Counter Weak, and PA Sprint HB Flat. And these will be out of the Strong Wing Formation. Now these two formations are almost identical, so you can audible between them very quickly with the QB just moving a few feet. And I'm going to go over two abilities you should really use to un unlock this power scheme and make it more effective for you and Matt. Now for this scheme, we'll be continuing my Baltimore Ravens, Lamar Jackson inspired pistol offense out of the Ravens playbook. So I've already released a ton of videos for this scheme. So I'll leave a link with the playlist down in the description below. So you can check out this whole offense after this video. Now to pair with this power run scheme, I also have three more play action plays that will just complement these runs so well and really attack deep down the field if your opponent gets aggressive to stop our run. Game. Now these videos are up on my website Scheme Kings right now and we have a ton more premium content on there for this Ravens pistol offense. So if you want to unlock this whole offense and take it to the next level, I will leave a link to Scheme Kings down in the description below. All right, so quickly I want to break down the abilities you should be using to really take this run game to the next level. And those abilities are going to be Nasty Street. Now we want to put this ability on our two guards. Now these are going to be our main pullers in this power offense. And basically what this is gonna do is any impact block where these players are pulling out in front, they are gonna get dominant wins against any defensive back and linebacker. Now this is just gonna work so well at opening up huge holes on the outside because these guys are just gonna blow people up in the hole. Then the other ability I like to do is I like to take my tight end, I like to put him at full back and I wanna put honorary lineman on this player. Now, you can only put this on block blocking tight ends or blocking fullbacks in mutt. So you can use a fullback if you find a good one. And this honorary lineman works very similar. It is gonna be dominant impact blocks on the edge against defensive backs. Now this is gonna work so well for our power game and our tosses on the outside. So on this play, it's gonna be a toss play. So watch this guard here and watch our fullback. Just get out in space. We're gonna to toss it here. Now look at these two. They're gonna be out leading in front and watch our tight end first. He's going to meet this player on the outside, take him out. We see his ability light up and he's going to blow those people up on the edges basically every time. Then we see our guard getting out in front. This is nasty streak from our guards and he's going to meet this player in the hole and absolutely blow him up. So you're gonna get that with both of our guards and our fullback in this scheme. All right, now the first play we're gonna go over is this Ravens power out of pistol strong. This play is just gonna work like a classic power. Now what a classic power is, it is gonna be down blocks by our offensive linemen. So that means if our power is running to the wide side of the field, these players here are actually gonna block down. So they're gonna be trying to seal these players on the inside. Then we're gonna have our backside guard pulling out in front and then with our fullback pulling out as well. And how this is gonna work is where our fullback is gonna do a kick out block on the outside and then our guard is gonna pull around, block this player here and leave a really nice alley here. Now we can read this one of two ways. We're really gonna be reading the guard on this play and if he seals these players inside, we're gonna cut this up off the guard's butt. If he kind of crashes everybody on the outside, we're gonna bounce this out. We're gonna take a look at this one right here. So we're gonna notice down blocks in our guard pull. That is really going to be the key. So right here, boom. See how the offensive line is firing down. Everybody's firing this way. Tight ends, guards, everybody firing that way, except our fullback and our backside guard. All these players are 
pulling everybody down. Now we have our fullback kicking that player out there. And now this is all about patience, guys. You want to be patient with these powers. You want to let your box set up and you want to let your guard pull out in front of you. And then on this run, we see here he blocks this player out and we are just going to cut in off his butt. We see his ability activate there, gets an absolutely crazy block and we are gone for a 27 yard touchdown. Okay, let's watch it again. Watch our offensive line and tight end. Boom, blocking down. And on this one, we get a lot of double teams. So that is all just gonna depend on the defensive alignment, what formation they are in. This is about being patient on this run, guys. We don't wanna just explode. That's where I think a lot of people run powers wrong in Madden. They just hold R2 and hit the button and just run downhill. Here, let our block set up and then we're gonna hit the hole when it opens up. So fullback leading the way, he's gonna kick this player out. That's perfect. And I want you to pay attention to how I run the ball here. I'm actually gonna press the hole here. I'm I'm letting my guard set up this block. I'm not just exploding out there. Then I'm going to wait till he's engaged. He's going to take that player out and then we are going to hit the hole. Okay, let's just look at two more here. So lock, watch everyone. Block down. Now on this one, this player gets a really nice shed, but we have our guard pulling. So this is where it's being patient. Read this guard right here. We usually will bounce this out more, but this player fires up field. Our guard kicks him out. So now this turns into almost just a trap right up the field. So cut off this player's butt. Now we have a huge hole up the middle with multiple blockers. Make another guy miss and we are gone off to the races for a 75 yard touchdown again. Okay, last one right here. So watch our O-line, boom. Blocking down, they don't get as good of a block down animation on this one, but that is really the idea. The D does a better job of kind of spilling it out here. So once again, we're gonna follow this guard. We're gonna kind of cut, let him get out in front of us. We see our fullback is getting out to the edge. So now when they kind of collapse everything in, we still can bounce this to the outside if it's there. So follow our guard, he gets a really nice block here. Our fullback gets a really nice block on the edge. Huge pancake block by our guard. And once again, make a guy miss, put our head down 15 yard gain. So that is how you run power guys. And that is how you are trying to read it. Okay, now the main counter off power is called counter. That is what this whole play was developed for. And really the way we use counter is when they are overloading the play side. So if we look at this half of the field, look, they have one, two, three, four, five, six players on this side of the field. And they have three players in the box on this side of the center. So they're really overplaying to stop our power, stop our toss that we're gonna be going over bets to the play, play side. I like to have our counter weak in our audibles. And if I see them overplaying it to playing that, then we can just audible to counter. And this is really about just seeing the numbers advantage and audibling and taking advantage of this. So now what this is going to be, this is going to be a step like power downhill. Then we are going to cut back with the opposite guard. Now this is going to be the play side guard pulling with our fullback leading. So now we watch our blockers. They're blocking down to the play side holding everyone in, sealing everyone in. Then we have our two lead blockers coming the other way on the counter. We get a kick out block here, really nice block on the edge. We have our fullback out in front. Once again, put our head down and we pick up 10 yards when they overplay. Okay, see how they're shifting their line. I had noticed my opponent starting to shift his line. So I just came out and counter on this one. But we see here, look how they're overplaying to the play side. Once again, we have three players on this side of the center. So now we, oh, look at that. Now we have two. So now we can just call counter, block down, two pullers out other way, kick out block here, full back, leading out in front, put our head down. This I don't find is quite as explosive as power can be, but this is just keeping them honest. Now, when we start hitting this counter, they can't overplay to our power. Okay, so that is power and counter. Those are really supposed to work off of each other. But now we have a few wrinkles that we can throw in that are really gonna use these same power run game principles. Now, the first one is gonna be a toss. This toss is super, super powerful, guys. It is very, very good. And once again, we're gonna be using those abilities to our advantage. Now, once again, our lead blocker is still going to be our fullback, but now instead of the backside guard, it's going to be the play side guard is getting out in front. And this one, we are trying to attack the edge of the defense. We want to get everyone sealed inside, have two lead blockers out in front and just pick up some big plays on the edge. We see him pinching down here, third and three. This is the perfect time to call toss. 
get to the edge of the defense. So right here, boom, we see everyone blocking down. We have a double team on the end man on the line of scrimmage there, and we have two blockers out in front. This is absolutely perfect, guys. This is how we draw it up. And once again, be patient on this. Don't spam speed burst. Let your blocks develop. We have our guard, boom, light up there, getting a huge block on the outside. Fullback out in front, right there, driving this player out of the play. We beat this guy to the edge and we score a 19 yard touchdown. Okay, once again, now on this one, he really overloads this side. These aren't great numbers to call toss, but this toss is so effective, you really can call it at almost any time. So right here, same thing. We wanna get block downs here. We wanna seal everyone in. Now we wanna follow our two blockers on the outside. These are our two money blockers. Once again, look at this player. Blow this guy up there. Guard out in front. Blow that guy off the football. Like you are just going to have so much fun in this scheme with these abilities. Watching people just get blown off the ball. Make one guy miss in the open field. And there's a 12 yard toss for a touchdown again. Okay, here we go again. Really liking our numbers on the outside here. So same thing. We want to seal everyone in the, on the inside. Follow our two blockers out here. Boom, nice block there. Boom, kick out there. We have one guy to beat here. We make that guy miss. Now it's just the backside safety. And now boom, we truck stick this guy. This is a power run scheme. Put your shoulder down. I get a stupid fall animation. Okay, then the last run I wanna go over is dive. Now this is just a good run to keep people honest. We're really attacking the edges here with our power and toss. So if we can hit them up the middle with for some big gains, that is really gonna stop them from spreading their line. That is the whole idea with this dive play. Now, I like to run it two ways. The first way, I motion my fullback over. That is just to pair with some of the play action plays I'm releasing up on Scheme Kings. Once again, if you want to check that out, that is really what it's for. So if you're not going to run those play action plays, you can just leave your fullback where he is on the front side. But we're going to motion, snap the ball, and this is just a power run up the middle. Follow your fullback up in the hole. He's going to meet that guy there six, seven yards. But this is all about just keeping them honest. Okay, one more time, but this time we're not motioning motioning over the fullback and right here, snap the ball, dive. We, he sees this player coming in off free off the edge. So he's gonna pick him up. We're just looking for that hole. We see a nice hole right up there. Truck stick, get that guy down. Throw in this dive to ensure they don't spread their line out to take away our power and talk. All right, then I wanted to give you guys one play action play to hold you over in case you don't go hop on Scheme King. So this is gonna be PA Sprint HB Flat and all that this you know play action game is about guys is bringing them down, sucking them down and then hitting them for some big plays over the top. So I really love this play guys. It's just gonna be a flood concept on the wide side with this kind of backside crosser. So the big thing when we you're running play action in Madden, guys. When you really get your run game going, you're gonna have the user firing down, and that is what we want. So look for the user on this play, guys right here boom he's at the safety here look at this he brings a huge blitz he has nobody on the back end he's trying to stop our pass game so if we see a heavy blitz here no hard flats on the field we just want to fire it out to our running back in the flats i really like this too because this is our running back in the flats not our tight end not our fullback so this guy really dangerous in space a ton of open space and then really quickly just talking about the adjustments for this play there is only one adjustment and that is going to be our inside tight end here so usually he's on this kind of like whip route here we just want to put him on a streak that is just going to pull back the outside deep blue defenders and just open up a nice hole along the sidelines right here once again look for the user guys right here he fires down fires to the run side so bringing that user down really just messing with the user there then we see two routes coming out to this side of the field so if the user jumps out there they have a hard flat on the field they have another flat defender here and the users run into this side of the field then we can just throw this crosser in behind them. and then our last route and this is honestly the route I love the most is gonna be this corner route so we can really hit this two ways so right here boom right here we see hard flat on the field and maybe man coverage totally taking that away once again we could have fired it to this backside crosser but we look here they're not double flatting so if they're not double flatting have a hard flat on the field we just want to fire it up to that corner route 
toe tap along the sideline, a very good corner route. And then one more, I just wanted to show you this corner route is so good. Even if they're double flatting, if they have zone drops on this corner route can still get behind them. So boom, user fires down. Then he does a good job of just kind of getting back in the play and look here. This is zone drops, guys. This player is at about 20 yards. Now, this is an aggressive throw, a little bit risky, but on the run, fire that up. Fire that in over a 20 yard zone drop player's head for a really nice gain down the field. Now this is gonna give you a dominant downhill running attack, but if you want the easiest one play touchdown in Madden 22, you need to watch this video right here. 